Hello, this is Dr. Dlin speaking. I often attend international medical conferences, especially those focused on longevity. And there, one idea keeps coming up more and more. Given today's level of medicine, knowledge, and technology, we are on the verge of a significant increase in life expectancy. But it's important not just to live to old age, but to maintain what's called active longevity. That means mental clarity, health, and overall energy. And today, I'll talk about what the global scientific community is focusing on right now, which approaches are proven, and what you can already start doing today to slow down aging and keep your body and mind in good shape. So make sure to stay until the very end of the video so you don't miss any important details. Today's video is super useful, packed with terms and valuable information that you can hardly find anywhere else. Give this video a like. That way, the YouTube algorithm will show this video to people who are looking for ways to slow down aging, which means more people will be able to take care of their health in time. So what are telomeres? Let me explain in simple terms. Inside every cell, there's a nucleus. Inside the nucleus, there's DNA. DNA is packed into chromosomes. Telomeres are the end sections of chromosomes, kind of like protective caps. In Greek, telos means end, and miros means part. Now, imagine a bomb with a fuse. The shorter the fuse, the faster the fire reaches the bomb and it explodes. It's the same in our bodies. The shorter the telomeres, the slower and more reluctantly our cells work, and the faster we age. So what role do telomeres play in our bodies? When telomeres become too short, the cell stops dividing and enters a state of aging. That's why the average length of telomeres is linked to an increased risk of disease and to lifespan. But it's just a marker, not the only lever of longevity. So how can we slow down the shortening of telomeres? There's a special enzyme in our bodies. It's called telomerase. It can replenish telomeres and keep them from getting shorter. But in ordinary body cells, this enzyme is almost inactive. Its activity is very low. Still, we can influence the factors that speed up or slow down the shortening. But before we move on to discussing specific actions, let's talk about heredity. Many people think that telomere length is determined solely by heredity. In fact, yes, heredity can certainly play a role. But there are studies today that show it's only about 15 to 20 percent of the influence on telomere length. The rest is often related to our actions and lifestyle. So let's move on to that now. So what destroys our telomeres? There are two main enemies. The first is oxidative stress. This is when a lot of free radicals accumulate in the body. Normally, we need them, but not in large amounts. If there are too many, they start to damage DNA, including telomere regions, which leads to the formation of free radicals. Our second enemy is chronic inflammation. It activates immune cells and accelerates tissue wear. Its sources are not only obesity and diets high in sugar and trans fats, but also hidden sources of infection, cystic lesions in the teeth, chronically inflamed adenoids, and imbalances in the gut microbiota. Even high cholesterol, psycho-emotional stress, lack of sleep, heavy workloads, smoking, and alcohol consumption have an impact. I want to share a patient story with you as an example. He couldn't have children for a long time. Everything seemed fine. Both spouses were getting checked and everything looked good, but he had reduced spermatogenesis. No matter how he was treated, nothing helped. As a result, one smart urologist decided to check him for a chronic inflammatory process. And the first thing he did was examine his oral cavity, since that's where long-lasting chronic inflammations most often occur, like cavities or cysts in the teeth. And that was exactly the case with him. His whole mouth was full of cysts. This systemic inflammation was suppressing spermatogenesis. And after he underwent treatment and had all the cysts removed, within a few months his spermatogenesis recovered and his wife was able to get pregnant. So, there is this kind of connection in our body that might seem non-obvious at first glance. In other words, the body is actually a system and the little things are not so little after all. Everything in our body is interconnected. But, as you can imagine, it's impossible to determine telomere length on your own. But there are a number of tests that can help with this. We'll display the names of these tests on the screen. You can take a screenshot and then get them done if you're interested. But in general, measuring telomeres isn't that important. It's much more important to start working on the factors that affect the rate of shortening. But if you're curious and have the opportunity, these tests do exist 
and in some preventive programs we use them as a reference point before and after. Now, let's move on to the most important part. So, how can we actually slow down telomere shortening? Be sure to save the checklist I'm about to share so you always have it handy. The first and most important thing is physical activity. I know it sounds cliché, but there are studies showing that regular exercise is associated with longer telomeres and increased telomerase activity, which means telomeres shorten more slowly. What's much more important is how to incorporate this into your life, because knowing is one thing, but actually doing it is another question. I recommend starting with three to four sessions a week, doing 30 to 40 minutes of moderate activity, like cardio. This could be brisk walking, cycling, running, or Nordic walking, which, by the way, I also really enjoy. Once a week, you can add a short interval training session. For example, one minute of running at a fast pace, followed by one minute of rest. You can repeat this cycle several times. Here, what's much, much more important is just to get started. The first step is always the hardest, but trust me, it gets addictive after that. That was the first step. The second thing you can do to slow down telomere shortening is to keep an eye on your stress levels. High cortisol accelerates telomere destruction and suppresses the production of telomerase. You can fight stress and manage it with certain practices. Try meditating for 10 to 15 minutes a day before bed. You can also do breathing exercises. I show these in my videos. So make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. The third thing you can do to slow down telomere shortening is to improve your diet. The foundation is a Mediterranean-style diet. Systematic reviews have shown that following this kind of diet is associated with longer telomeres. And in studies among elderly people, it was found that those who followed a Mediterranean diet showed higher telomerase activity and longer telomeres compared to those who did not follow such a diet. This diet includes plenty of vegetables and greens, berries, legumes, whole grains, nuts and seeds, extra virgin olive oil, as well as fatty fish two to three times a week. Be sure to minimize sugar and sugary drinks, trans fats, and highly processed foods. Of course, we also eliminate and reduce alcohol as much as possible. Again, it might sound pretty basic, but look, simple actions can actually lead to a longer life. I want to talk separately about intermittent fasting. I sometimes follow it myself, for example, using the 14-10 or 16-8 schedule. But in reality, it's just an option and it doesn't suit everyone. But when chosen correctly, it activates sirtuins, the longevity proteins that help protect telomeres and DNA. If you have any chronic illnesses, be sure to discuss your eating regimen with your doctor first. Step four, make sure to get your sleep in order. Studies show that lack of sleep and poor sleep quality are associated with faster telomere shortening. People who snore, have sleep apnea, or suffer from chronic insomnia have shorter telomeres than those who sleep well. The thing is, during sleep, many stress signaling systems shut down, DNA repair is activated, and oxidative stress decreases. All of this helps cells rest and slows down telomere shortening. Def, quit smoking. I found studies showing that smokers have, on average, shorter telomeres than non-smokers, which means their cells age much faster. Smoking causes severe oxidative and toxic stress, damages DNA, and increases inflammation. That's why it's considered one of the main factors in accelerated telomere shortening. Well, in order to help your telomerase and telomeres, you can add dietary supplements to your diet. Now I will name those supplements that have proven their effectiveness. First, omega-3. It reduces inflammatory markers and supports membranes. Second, vitamin D. We'll select the right dosage for you, ideally with a doctor after blood tests. Vitamin D deficiency can lead to muscle weakness increased risk of falls, while normalizing it improves immune regulation. Next, magnesium, zinc, folates, vitamins B12, C, and E. They help cells properly create and repair DNA. Without them, this process slows down or happens with errors. Add green tea and curcumin. This is powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory support. Probiotics and prebiotics should only be used when there are clear digestive issues, bloating, discomfort, unstable stool, and a doctor confirms there are disruptions in the gut microbiome. Once again, I want to emphasize that it's best to take all supplements after proper diagnostics and together with the basics, physical activity, sleep, and nutrition. Of course, you can eliminate all negative factors from your life at once. 
Habits are very powerful, but there is a rule that works well. You can remove one or two bad habits at a time and replace them with one or two good ones. And soon you'll see how good habits start to outweigh the bad ones and your overall well-being will change significantly. Be sure to write in the comments which bad habit you plan to give up first. For myself, for example, the first thing I would do is fix my sleep. I can really feel that I'm lacking it. Well, take care of yourselves, keep moving, get good sleep, stay calm, and your biological age will start working in your favor. This was Dr. Glenn with you. See you next time.